tuangalie hili ambapo wakulima wa miwa katika kaunti ya Busia wamekosoa halmashauri ya kilimo cha chakula AFA wakisema kiwango cha miwa ambacho viwanda vya kusaga sukari katika kaunti hiyo viliruhusiwa kusaga ni cha chini mno ikizingatiwa kwamba kaunti hiyo inazalisha kiwango kikubwa cha miwa wakizungumza baada ya mkutano ulioandaliwa katika eneo bunge la Nambale wakulima hao walidai kwamba hakuna usawa kwenye kiwango cha kusaga miwa kilichoidhinishwa na viwanda mbali mbali vya miwa tumekubaliana kama wakulima wa Busia kuwa mambo ya wizi ya miwa ambayo iliwekezwa na kampuni nyingine isimamishwe mara moja na kampuni ambayo itapatikana ikifanya hivyo ile e, license yake ya ushagazi wa miwa iweze kunyang'anywa kwa sababu inafanya kinyume ya na ya mapatano ambao wao wenyewe walifanya na AFA ukulima wa miwa ndio tegemeo letu na sasa wakati mwingine kampuni zinafungwa ovyo ovyo kwamba AFA imeamua kwamba kampuni zifungwe na ili hali tumekeza miwa mingi tumelima miwa nyingi na imepitisha hata wakati wa kukata wakati AFA inapeana allocations it should be fair to all the millers na wakati e, miwa inakatwa ikienda kwa factory e, costs za cost costs za millers pia ziwe regularized na mimi najua kisheria ni kwamba county government inataka itengeneze committee ambayo itasimamia sales katika hiyo county na mimi najua kwamba wale wanataka kukua kwa hiyo committee ni farmers Milas and county government ili wajue ni kitu gani kinafanyika kwa hiyo pesa na madhara ya mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa yameathiri familia nyingi katika kaunti Kame nchini ikiwemo kaunti ya Laikipia na kusababisha uhaba wa chakula umaskini na hata utapia mlo hata hivyo katika kaunti ya Laikipia ya vikundi 41 vya wanawake vimekumbatia teknolojia ya kilimo inayoangazia hali ya hewa ili kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa na kuimarisha ustahimilivu wa jamii. Kwa msaada wa shirika li, kwa ushirikiano wa malisilo la serikali la Korea na vile vile UN Women, wanawake hawa wamegeukia ufugaji wa mbuzi wa maziwa ambao ni mradi usio tu unakuzalisha mapato lakini pia hutoa uuzaji wa maziwa. Wanabari wetu Levis Musumba alizuru kijiji cha eneo hilo cha Kalalu katika wadi ya Mutomo na kuandaa taarifa ifuatayo kuhusu ustahimilivu wa jamii katika kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa. Katika kijiji cha Kalalu kilicho katika kaunti ya Laikipia, athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa zimechukua mkondo katika miaka mitatu iliyopita. Hali joto ya juu na mifumo ya mvua isiyotabirika imebadilisha ardhi iliyokuwa na rutuba kuwa mazingira isiyofaa kwa wanadamu na wanyama. Ukulima wa wa area hii juu ya hiyo nini? Juu ya hiyo ya chakula ilikuwa mbaya. Tukipanda mahindi unatoa tuseme kama gunia mbili na uko na watoto. Bantha Muraidi amekumbatia teknolojia ya kilimo inayozingatia hali ya hewa ili kujenga uwezo wa kustahimili athari za mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa kwa kuzingatia ufugaji wa mbuzi wa maziwa. Na mimi niliamua kuuliza hii hii busi ya maziwa juu hapa karibu kuna kiwanda ya maziwa akikabiliwa na hitaji la kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa na ardhi isiyo na tija Martha amepata usaidizi katika mradi wa kuwawezesha wanawake kiuchumi mpango huo ulizinduliwa mwaka 2021 na shirika la ushirikiano wa kimataifa la Korea Koika likishirikiana na UN Women na FAO limekuwa mwanga na tumaini sio tu kwa Martha bali pia kwa vikundi na moja vinavyoongozwa na wanawake ambavyo vimekumbatia hali ya hewa teknolojia mahiri za kilimo And in Kenya I should say we are coming from a two consecutive years of drought where of course the women were telling us you know their animals died particularly of course cows and goats and this project brought of course another component which is poultry and with poultry you know where you need very little water you need very little space they were able of course to have that income that it was really needed so that they can also send their children to school and also buy the alternative the alternative food that they needed so overall i should say that really 
we see the impact, we see the transformation. Ili kuhakikisha uendelevu, kaunti ya Laikipia imetoa mafunzo kwa maafisa wa ungani kwa lengo la kupanua mpango huo. The women that have been involved in the program, there is already an extension officers that have been there. So in terms of passing on the technology that has been impacted, impacted to our women, it is continuing. Ufugaji wa mbuzi wa maziwa wa matha umebadilisha maisha yake kwa kiasi kikubwa. Njoo tunajaribu ku alleviate poverty. Tunasema at least mkulima akikunywa maziwa ile tambili alafu auze mbili atakuwa ana at least 200 shillings per day. Mapato ya matha kutokana na ufugaji wa mbuzi wa maziwa yamemwezesha kukidhi mahitaji ya familia yake na kumpa hisia ya uhuru na uwezeshaji. Kuna kiwanda ilifunguliwa hapa na pali tatuseme si 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 wanatunulia na 150 Tuseme miaka hiyo mbili tatu nimeona faida. Na ndio nimesema nikikamua na usa kidogo. Na watoto wangu tunakunywa hiyo. Hata hivyo hali ya hewa isiyotabiriwa na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa yameleta changamoto mpya. Uhaba wa maji unaoathiri kilimo cha matha na hivyo kuwa tisho kwa mafanikio yake. Hii kaute government ya Laikipia ilituchimbulia damu na wakati walitusimbulia nikaona pande yangu hiyo ya chini nikaona usuli ni nikate ni, ni, ni kamtaro kwa masaa mbili tu kukinyesa ama tatu inajaa na ina overflow leo mashirika ya koika UN Women na FAO kwa kushirikiana na serikali ya kaunti ya Laikipia yamezindua matenki 80 ya maji mizinga 117 vifaa moja arobaini na tano vya kurima asali, pampu nane za maji na viandarua nane vimetolewa kwa wanawake wa vijijini akiwemo Martha. Sisi kama kaunti tumepanga kwa CIDP improving the livelihoods of our people starting from the household level. And therefore hii ni ile ya kushagia kuna matagi ya maji uh, ile imeletwa siku ya leo kuna mbuzi za maziwa zinakuja uh, kwa wananchi leo tumepatia na even dam liners kwa sababu hii ni mambo ya kuhifadhi maji now the husbands see the real value of the activity of the ladies not only the extra income and being able to send the girl children to the school tangu uzinduzi wa mradi mwaka 2021 Kaunti ya Laikipia imepata zaidi ya milioni hamsini na tisa kutokana na mauzo ya bidhaa za kilimo. There was a value chain that we are not paying attention to, a value chain commodity and that was the beehive. So today we have also flagged off quite a number of uh, beehive kit, harvesting kit that are, will also support these women to diversify their incomes. Mantha pamoja na maelfu ya wanawake katika kaunti hii sasa wana fursa ya kufaidika na teknolojia hizi za kukabiliana na hali ya hewa kukabiliana na changamoto zinazoletwa na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa na uhaba wa chakula nikipata hiyo damu laina itakuwa sawa sana juu hiyo maji haitaisha hata saa hii ni mingi na tuko January the countries as you rightly said they have to put in place strategies to be able to mitigate to be 